Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Friday, February 8th. A major coastal storm is taking shape right now at the North Carolina coast. It's deepened over the last few hours quite significantly and will continue to deepen rapidly over the next several hours as it pulls off the coast to the north and east. Rain has moved into the southeastern part of Pennsylvania. Snow has now moved into the Central Park uh, region of New York City. That rain snow line will advance just about to the uh, New York City region. Uh, perhaps they'll mix with rain over the next few hours, but that's about the northern extent of that rain snow line. Uh, let's take a look at the very latest mesoscale analysis of the pressure field. This is the uh, this is kind of an interesting thing to look at right here. The low itself right now is a 996 millibar low right at the Outer Banks region of North Carolina. Now I want to sp uh, emphasize here 996 because last night's GFS model run at 0Z had a forecast of about a 1004 uh, low pressure system right around this location at this time. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but the uh, the actual reality here is that the storm is stronger certainly than last night's zero Z GFS model run uh, indicated it would be at this time. Again, it has deepened several millibars over the last few hours and will continue to rapidly intensify as it pulls off to the north and east in this fashion off the coast over the next several hours. Meanwhile, the northern system is a low pressure area now centered over the eastern part of the Great Lakes. That will weaken over the next several hours and all of its energy will be uh, pretty much transferred to the coast and this will become the main player over the next several hours and indeed right into tomorrow morning. Well here's in fact last night's Zero Z GFS model run for this morning and here's that low that it depicted as about a 1004 low Meanwhile, reality shows it's about 996. That's a significant difference. In other words, GFS model had this storm uh, quite a bit uh, too weak from its last night run. We'll see how things change over the next run, which will start coming out over the next hour or two. Rainfall has pushed into southeastern Pennsylvania, but again, it's snowing right now across Central Park. This rain snow line will advance to the north over the next few hours just to the doorstep of the New York City region. They could mix with uh, some rain during the midday hours, but it should change to all snow late in the afternoon there and late in the afternoon or early evening in southeastern PA. It looks like an all-out blizzard tonight. Uh, blizzard conditions from New York City up across much of New England and quite a healthy snowstorm all the way down into southeastern PA with several inches of snow tonight as well. Here's the latest radar loop from the Penn State EWAL site. Uh, first of all, the northern system causing a band of rain in the Ohio Valley and some snow here across the Great Lakes into upper New York. Here's the main area along the coast right now. The yellows and oranges are heavy rainfall. And notice the banding setting up here. There's some heavier bursts of rainfall. That'll kind of be the pattern of, over uh, throughout the storm, not only uh, in the rainfall area this afternoon, but in the snow as well tonight, there will be some mesoscale banding setting up with some heavier bursts of snow. So you could be underneath a heavy band and get two to three inches per hour of snow, especially in northern New Jersey, New York City, all the way into New England. And just 20 miles away, it might be uh, quite a bit less because you won't be underneath that mesoscale banding. There will be some, uh, very likely be some thunderstorm activity or thunder snows that develop with this storm. Again, especially in northern New Jersey, New York City, uh, into New England, but even all the way down into the southeastern part of Pennsylvania, that could happen as well as it's, as it's a very dynamic, healthy, rapidly intensifying coastal storm. Well, I thought I'd start off by showing the Canadian model because it has a, a nice way of uh, depicting the precipitation type. Then we'll kind of focus in the GFS model runs uh, for later on today. This is the current prediction for the Canadian model, the current time early this morning. And notice the blue areas here. Of course, snow snow has, in fact, developed just in the last hour or two across Central Park. Mostly rain here in southeastern part of Pennsylvania. Here's that coastal storm. Let's just walk through this hour by hour and kind of point out what I, uh, I think is a pretty good forecast from this Canadian model. Here's the rain pushing farther to the north and east. Notice that rain snow line cutting through the New York City region and not really going any any uh, farther north than that. Heavy snow in fact here this is already during the afternoon early to mid afternoon hours. Heavy snow according to the Canadian model already breaking out across New York City. Meanwhile still rain here in southeastern part of Pennsylvania but Notice over the next few hours, 
that that uh, colder air starts to wrap in at this time and and here we are uh, late in the afternoon early evening now the low is situated here by this time off the South Jersey coast well off the South Jersey coast pretty much the cold air comes rushing in once that surface low reaches your latitude when it's like directly east the colder air kind of rushes in at that time here so now notice the heavy snow according to the Canadian model here this is early this evening across east central and northeastern Pennsylvania northern New Jersey now over the next few hours from this point here you go the cold air rushes in to southeastern Pennsylvania this is about seven or eight o'clock tonight uh, snowing hard at this time into southeastern Pennsylvania across the northern half of New Jersey still rain down in southeast uh, Jersey coastal region across the Delmarva Peninsula the storm is still intensifying here 981 low over the next couple hours here still snowing here in southeastern Pennsylvania and now at this time it's pretty much snow from uh, most of New Jersey southeastern Pennsylvania up across northern New Jersey New York City all the way into New England and this area will just get pummeled overnight tonight with uh, heavy snowfall and that continues first it'll start winding down here in southeastern PA late tonight and then uh, it'll kind of hangs on for several hours from New York City north and east and it'll, it'll become just a major snow event for New York City and New England and again significant snow all the way down into southeastern Pennsylvania well let's continue on with the GFS model run again this is from last night's zero Z model run and we just looked earlier at the morning prediction this is the early afternoon forecast from last night's GFS and we already know that the low will be stronger than depicted here but uh, nonetheless let's look at the uh, the uh, last night's model output again it had that rain snow line north of southeastern Pennsylvania right on the doorstep of New York City and it doesn't go any farther north than that the low is now moved from the uh, eastern part of North Carolina to off the coast and here's the remnants of that northern disturbance and this will kind of wrap itself around this and become the main snow producer for southeastern Pennsylvania and much of uh, uh, northern New Jersey and New York in the uh, northwestern sector of the storm or the deformation zone this will kind of be the uh, area where uh, the, the on the back end of the storm we get our accumulating snows here in southeastern Pennsylvania let's now jump ahead this is six hours later or early this evening about 7 p.m. at this time that low is now oh basically due east of uh, Pennsylvania Maryland border and here is all snow at this time wrapping around in the, in the uh, uh, northwest quadrant of this particular storm uh, uh, the rain should change to snow in New York City first uh, mid to late afternoon hours and then late afternoon to early evening across southeastern Pennsylvania and roads will become treacherous in a hurry there's a couple of two or three factors that should cause very tricky driving conditions downright treacherous conditions after the changeover first of all the rain that's occurring now will wash off all the salt and brine solution that's been on the roads for the last several days second of all that of course will also contribute to wet surface conditions and third and most important temperatures will crash when this uh, colder air comes rushing in it'll come rushing in in a hurry over an hour or two period temperature will drop significantly uh, on the uh, back end of this storm and what's wet on the road could very well become ice in a hurry and then covered by snow so treacherous driving conditions starting late this afternoon when it changes over to snow in, in many parts of Middle Atlantic Green and especially early tonight throughout the nighttime hours. It's kind of a recipe for disaster as far as the roads are concerned. Now finally this is about one <coughs> excuse me one o'clock in the morning this time the low continues to move south and east of New England. They're getting all out blizzard like conditions from New York City across New England. Still snow all the way down into southeastern Pennsylvania. This is all snow at this time in this region right here on the uh, back side of this storm uh, strong winds winds will be a factor as well some blowing and drifting tonight perhaps 40 miles plus in and around Philadelphia overnight tonight 50 miles plus in and around New York City up to two feet of snow near uh, Massachusetts and uh, um, much of New England with 50 60 mile per hour wind gusts at the height of the storm overnight tonight so that's it for now. Stay tuned to the SIWeather.com. There will be updates later on today as this major coastal storm takes
take shapes and, and take shape and moves up off the east coast later on this morning. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.